Hey everyone, Tiger Tanaka here, and welcome back to more DBZ BT3. In the last part, we went over the Harudagar movie very, very quickly and just ignored the plot altogether. And in this part, we're starting the GT saga. If that's not any indication that GT kind of takes the series down the drain, I don't know what does. Oh my god! They skipped like a third of GT! Are you fucking kidding me? Well, anyway, at this point you found out Majin Buu gets reincarnated as Oob. Pilaf comes back, gets to the lookout, finds these special Dragon Balls called the Black Star Dragon Balls. Only the main difference with them is that any planet that they m get made a wish on blows up in one year unless you can bring them back to that planet. The catch here is they scatter all across the universe instead of the planet. In the meantime, while looking for these Dragon Balls, they meet an artificial life form called Baby. They get all the dr Black Star Dragon Balls back together on Earth. Baby somehow just ride with them and possesses Vegeta. So yeah. So yeah, they skip a good portion of GT just to get straight to the fighting. Yeah, Baby is an artificial life form, part of the alien race of the Tuffles, and the Tuffles were nearly eradicated by the Sands, so needless to say, he has a grudge against every single Sand in, in existence. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Pilaf wishes for Goku to be a kid again accidentally, because Goku walked in on that. On him, uh getting the wish. Oh crap, I'm gonna hit by this. Owie! That hurt. But yeah, GT is very badly told and it's a bad story in the first place. So, yeah. At least these days, GT is getting less and less considered canon. In fact, at this point, I think it's been pretty much debunked as canon. Fuck. You know what? Just for the hell of it. Ah, he dodged it. Also, for some reason, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, and GT, he has almost no lines. Like, not even battle grunts or anything. He's just strangely mute for some reason. Whoa! That was a bit close. Yeah, the thing about GT Goku is that Yeah. 
so it's just an excuse to make him super weak again. And baby gets to transform. Also, we're basically worthless against this fight, so yeah. Off to a great start, GT. You've made the most powerful character in the series the weakest. Other than fucking Hercule. And this is the form that Baby stays in for most of the time. Well, that was shitty. They make you think you can't avoid that. I think I'm gonna wind up losing here. Well, okay, good. Oh, hi, Oob. Oh, and since Oob is a reincarnation of Kid Boo, he can... Merge with the good Majin Buu, the fat Buu, and become whole again. So Majin Buu is no longer in existence, and Oob is now known as Majub, but everyone just still calls him Oob anyway. And despite his outfit, this is not a proper fusion. It's just... I don't know why they decided to use this outfit, honestly. Also, Majub's ult is fucking useless. It's one of those attacks like Krillin's attack, where it launches a beam and then that beam scatters around. But yeah, Majub can actually put up a fight against this form of Baby, and that makes me very disappointed, because Baby's supposed to be really fucking strong. But technically, Oob is a human. You better be healed. Okay, good, he's healed for the most part. Dang it! Fuck! Come on! Well, fuck. Well, I'm dead. I'll be right back. Fuck GT. Alright, so I made it back to about where I was before. So let's see how this works. Yeah, I should have figured he'd do that. Oh well. Maybe this time I won't fucking get my guard broken to the point where I just fucking lose. Whoa. Um... I don't even have to say anything about how much they skipped here. First off, Goku needed his tail back to do this, so he got a very painful process of growing back his tail. And then... Oh, man. He turned into a golden Ozaru and needed to feel compassion in order to proceed to get this transformation. So, yeah. You know what? Just because I can, I'm gonna kill you with my ult or not. Once and for all. 
Well then... They're making this all one fight. This is kind of weird. Yay, I got the Dragon Ball! Damn! Dang it. Oh well. Ow. 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 Suffocating me there. Okay, you can stop spamming your throw now. He just stood there and took that. Actually, let me see what his other technique is, if I can actually get it off. Oh, it's a rush. Crap. I was hoping it wasn't. You know what? Ah, I thought it was something else. I thought it was something like, I'll beat you in five seconds. Take that, you bitch. Damn. Took long enough. I didn't think that would take so long. But man, oh man, did they skip so much plot with that. But I can't even go over it because I don't remember anything from GT. But yeah, from that you unlock Kid Goku's GT. Bleh. You unlock GT Goku as a kid. And if you already had Super Saiyan 4 Goku unlocked, then you get all of that in one character slot. But yeah, next time on DBZ BT3, we'll be continuing the GT saga. And oh goody, we get the most pathetic excuse of a reason to bring back a character. See you guys then.